Hello and welcome to Minicoon Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the data reading error in ROR Studio, which is error in make.names into brackets, column.names, comma, unique is equal to true, brackets close, column, invalid multi type string, X. I intentionally kept X here for a reason. It could have been 5, it could have been 10, it could have been any number, okay? Now, this number here indicates the string of characters, in other words, what we call, because a, a qualitative or a categorical variable, okay? Now, what happens is that when you are reading data set into R, R has, that's why we usually say read.csv, read.table, or read.anything. Read here simply means that R is going to scan or read your data set and then import it, okay? Now, during the reading process, R has detected that it, the column number 5, for instance, has what a problem with the column name, okay? So the column name was wrongly named, and that's why R gave us this error. You know, sometimes you can have multiple columns with this a problem, with column naming problem, but R will usually show the first one, so please take note that if R is prompting that one of your columns has this problem and after you resolve the problem with that particular column, the issue persists, then it could be that many other columns have the problem. And R will always tell you the, the next column number. So, uh, what this error is simply trying to tell us, as I said, is that a particular column, in this case I've just kept 5 to say column number 5, is not properly named, okay, so, which means you have to fix this error. You could tell R to ignore the naming process and just read your data set, but that can come with other consequences that I'm going to show you. All right, so to make things clearer, we'll try it. I'll have my data set on the desktop. So let's read this data set into R and then I'll show you because this particular data set has this error within it and then we'll see how we can fix it. So let's assume we name our data set data with capital D. So less than and um, hyphen or you just say equal to is the same. Then we say read.csv2. You ask me like why am I using CSV2 instead of CSV? It's simply because my data set is delimited by semicolon. When your data set, generally in the francophone sector, the CSV files are often are always are often delimited by semicolon instead of comma in the anglophone sector or the anglo-saxon like um, a csv file is a purely comma separated file whereas in francophone sector a csv file is a semicolon delimited file so we have our csv file here if i should open it data fr if i should open it you see what i'm talking about so brilliant as you can see this csv file actually is actually delimited the data is delimited by what um semicolon and that is why we have to use csv2 instead of common because if it were common then we use csv simply csv another thing that you have to note is that um r is telling us the fifth variable has a problem so this is the first variable second variable third variable is tip the balsam Four variable is Le Marc Blanche. I'm reading in French. Pardon me for that. Last variable is what? Form the third. So by looking at this last variable, which is a fee variable, is R is telling us that this particular variable name is not properly done. That's why it's giving us that error. So by just looking, you realize that I mean if you if you were French speaking, you would bear with me that form the third is correct. So why do we have this error? It's simply because R has detected certain things that it cannot read, right? R doesn't deal with these accents like accent circumflex, which is the hat on top of the E. This in French, we put this hat here. R doesn't deal with that. R cannot read such stuff. If it were hat, sun, tegi, like acute accent or even graph accent, none of which can R read. So we have to always be careful let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. So to read this data set into R, 
I'll simply have to right click on it right click on it click on properties everybody has his or her way of reading data set into R so use what is convenient for you and copy this object name here or the full file extension or path click on OK come to your R or R studio into quotations come and paste it here close the quotations and close your bracket now change these backslashes into forward slashes or you put two backslashes you are good to go all right now after doing this simply put comma so you put comma here and then you say header is equal to true okay and i think that is enough for us to go so let's read this data set into r and see what r will tell us so you see that r has given me the exact error that i'm talking about error in make dot names into brackets column dot names comma unique is equal to true invalid uh, multi bytes string five string five here is talking about variable number five so basically r is telling us let me open the data set again r is telling us that string number five or variable number five is the, this particular column number five here is not properly named so and i told you it's because of this hat on top of the e it's in french we write things this way but these things remember the language of r is in english and not in any it could have been in any other language even if it's in german in spanish and there is this symbol here that r cannot detect it will give you this error sometimes it might not even be a symbol it could be something other thing that r cannot read you know so how do we prevent this problem first of all let's tell r to ignore this okay let's r tell r so we put comma here let's put comma let me hit enter and i'll tell r that um check dot names it should ignore the column names okay or any names so if i should if i should say check dot names is equal to false so r should stop checking names okay and let's see what whether i will be able to read the data set or not now r has read the data set without any problem let's print our data set and see what it contains print sorry in lowercase print into brackets data with capital d if i should run this i'm sorry there's a washing machine and it's making a hell of noise i'm so sorry about that today so after i read the data set into r you notice that um this is the fifth variable here let me go up so you see we have first three variables here this is the third variable and the fourth is down here this is the fourth variable and this one particular one is the fifth so the fifth variable we are saying form the third now you ask me like looking at this how this variable name is written it's not written this way you see that it's form the third with the hat on top of the e why has r written it as something weird look at what it has written in place of third is simply because R could not read the second flex that hat on top of the E, so it, it, it just did something like this. You also notice that, for instance, if we should look at um, row number, let's come to our Excel file, and you see, for instance, uh, row number 17, okay, you see that we have something like mark on tet, this particular word here, mark on tet for the four variable r will have a problem with that one too so you see that row number 17 in excel corresponds to row number 16 in and what in uh, r so let's look at row number 16 sorry i'm trying to get it okay look at row number 16 here for the four variable r has written what the same tet it cannot write the tet to 
So it's simply because R is not able to read a certain text. So how do you fix this problem? What I would advise is that just come to your data set, come and click on the replace in your Excel file, come and click on the search and find and replace button here, drop down menu, click on replace. And then you just simply come to your Excel file, come and copy anything that is the, the word text here, select it, copy it and replace it by something else so let's assume we replace it by usually when you have like if let's assume that your data set is in spanish is in Turkish, is in um i don't know which other language that has some of these symbols that r cannot detect generally we write similar thing but without putting those symbols so we can write the same word here but without putting the hat on top of it now if i should replace all words that are like this none uh, r has done sorry excel has done nine replacements i click on ok close the dialog box and after which you make sure you save your final data set so you click on file and save or control s click on yes and now your data set is saved now that you have saved these changes so you see that tet is no longer having second text on it Let's read our data set again and see what happens. This time, I'll just copy the code to, in order not to waste time. So let's copy the code. Okay, so I'll copy the code and paste it here. And this time around, we will even ignore putting check.names is equal to true because we have corrected the error right before the, the reading the data set so if i should read this you notice that no error given let's print our data set sorry perfect here we go r hasn't given us any error again neat so you see um, let's go to the fee variable which is here, you see that TET is written just as in Excel. You know, after we remove the hat, it's the same thing here. You know, let's look at the 17 variable, sorry, the 17, 16th row for the fourth variable. You see that R has also written it neatly without any problem. Thank you so much for watching, and this is how you can fix this particular error. Please subscribe.